All right, everybody, glad to see you guys back here once again on launch day of the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. And right here to my right, I have the ASUS version of the card. This is their Direct CU2 GTX 770. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna ask exactly what that is. Well, the CU is the symbol for copper and Direct CU means direct to copper. So what you're getting is you're getting the heatsink is going directly up against the GPU. It then is going out into the heat fins then into the heat pipes and then being blown away, keeping the card really, really cool. Now, one thing to take note of, GPU Boost 2.0 heavily relies on how cool the card runs. And with that said, we have brought you a video showing the overclocking capabilities right out of the box of this card. Now, we have the full-blown review of this. If you guys want to check that out, you guys can see that right here on the screen behind me. But this video, we're dedicating solely to overclocking the card because we thought the results were actually worth talking about. So with that said, let's jump in. As most people know, whenever you buy one of these cards from ASUS, they usually come overclocked right out of the box, and this card is actually no exception. The base speed on this clock is 1,059 megahertz, and the boost clock is 1,111 megahertz. But we were able to get significantly better overclocking using GPU tweak. We actually set the card at 1,250 megahertz, but because the card ran so much cooler, we were actually able to achieve a 1,293 megahertz boost which is simply incredible and we did this all without increasing any voltages whatsoever which is a totally completely safe way to overclock one thing that we did change however was the actual fan speed we kept the fan speed at 70 percent for all of our testing and this seemed to work out very well for us now you could probably cut this back a little bit it would increase the temperature of the card but would actually reduct on the noise but truly the most significant thing about this is this the reference card was running at 80 Celsius. This card runs overclocked at 71 Celsius. Now that translates into a lot more cooler of a card. And like we said before, the cooler the card, the better the boost speed. Now, the direct copper cooling actually offers some very unique things. For one thing, it offers five unique points of contact, and this has 120% better dissipation than your standard card. There's also a lot of things that have to do with keeping dust out of your card. So less dust means less clutter, means that everything's gonna actually run cooler and more efficiently in the long run. DirectCU's been around quite a while, and the only thing the number designates, like DirectCU two or three, designates how many actual fans are on the cooling. So with that said, folks, it's time to jump into the benchmark song and rock out. So there you guys have it. Now, a couple of things to mention. Now, with this overclock, we saw the card getting between three and six frames per second better, but actually with this, it actually beats the 7970 gigahertz edition card, making it very, very fast. Now, it doesn't quite beat the 780, but it does get actually awfully kick-ass scores when it's overclocked like this. 
But the most important thing overall is the temperatures. You guys can see that even with this thing overclocked and everything else, it's still running so much cooler than a reference-based card. So if you guys would like any information about this, you guys can check this out in the link in the description below. But I feel that for this card, only being $10 more than a reference-based card, this card is a seriously editor's choice, especially in the overclocking department. It's pretty much maxing out what GPU tweak will even allow. Before I hop out of here and move on with my day, I know a lot of you guys always ask for SLI performance, and I'm glad to tell you folks that we actually have that here for you guys today. You guys can check that out in the screen back here behind me. Like I said, down below that like button is the description. You guys can check out all the details down there as well, and while you're down there, just make sure you go ahead and punch the crap out of that like button, letting us know that you like this style of video and you appreciate us. I'm Elric. Make sure you sub the channel, and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more Tech Goodness.